Hello, this is a Red Smoke broadcasting to you live from the basement of the Revolution. Now, this is a retraction of a video that I made. This is about my uh, secret about Alex Jones video, where I say that Alex Jones is a con artist. I retract that statement. I officially retract that statement. Um, you know, I don't think he's a con artist. The, what I said about 2012 is true. So I retract my statement about Alex Jones, but I do not retract my statement about 2012, because it's real. Okay? And just wait one second. I gotta take a break and go pray to Jesus for a second now. So I'll be right back, and then I'm gonna go deeper into this. Whole shit, dog. Whoa, look at that. Okay, this is a book that I read that revolutionized my life. This is called the Gnostic Bible. It's uh, published by New Seeds. Barnstone Mayer, whatever. It's in the religion section. Can you see that? Religion. Okay, for anyone who don't know who the Gnostics were, they were an early Christian sect, which were actually, um, well, it's really complicated, okay? So they were an early Christian sect, I'm a, I'm a Bible thumper now, motherfucker, motherfucker, oh god, that hurt, oh. I just fucked the Bible and it hurt. The word of God is sharp, like a two-edged sword. Ow, God, that really hurt. Anyways, what this talks about is it talks about the secret rulers of the earth. And I'm talking about, I'm talking to, oh, oh God, that really hurt my dick. Anyways, um, and my balls. So, I'm talking to all those conspiracy enthusiasts out there, alright? This Bible, you should read this. This is your new Bible. And if you want the... Um, anyways, just look it up on fucking Amazon. You're, you're watching this on YouTube anyways. So, the Gnostic Bible by... Um, let's see. Edited... By William Barnstone and Marvin Mayer. Meyer, whatever. But in this, Jesus basically teaches his students about the real, the secret rulers, the invisible empire. And um, what really trips me about this is that the secret rulers are not the men in power. It's not the Bilderbergers, it's not the Rockefellers, it's not the Bushes, it's not Barack Obama, because he's, he's just a black-faced pawn anyways. The real rulers of this world are not from this dimension. And see, this is where David Icke was right, and a lot of people, a lot of Alex Jones heads don't like to admit that David Icke was right. <clears throat> but people like Michi Okaku are basically proving, or more or less confirming scientifically, that there are other dimensions, and that beings from other dimensions could realistically be coming to our dimension, bitch. I'm talking about gods, I'm talking about aliens, I'm talking about demons, I'm talking about vampires, I'm talking about ghosts. I'm talking about the fucking Matrix, man. Oh. The Gnostic Bible, dude. Okay, just check this shit out, okay? So these Gnostics, right, they believed in, like, that there was our world with its four elements, 
four dimensions. And then above our world were what they call the seven heavens of chaos, okay? These bitches were coming up with this shit a couple centuries after Jesus supposedly existed, whether if he did or not. They're talking about how there's our world. Okay, check this shit. All right, uh, astrology, right? Western astrology, as we have it today, was handed down to us by Ptolemy. That's P-T-O-L-E-M-Y, Ptolemy, or Ptolemy, or whatever how the fuck. And he was a Valentinian Gnostic, okay? He was a Gnostic. And he described that the world has four elements. Of course, that also correlates with the four fundamental forces of M-theory, which are electromagnetism, or fire, gravity, or earth, and then the strong and weak nuclear forces, which are water and air, right? The four fundamental forces, four dimensions, our world, the, the symbol for our world is a circle with a cross, and that's what the cross symbolizes, is the four, the four cardinal directions, the four elements, the four fundamental forces, the four dimensions. And then they described that the gods who control everything lived in the seven heavens of chaos, which are the seven fucking extra dimensions, which M-theory describes creating 11 dimensions in all. Bitches. So if you conspiracy people really want some real shit, you should read into Gnosticism. And I would start right here. The Gnostic Bible. Because this has Nag Hammadi stuff. It has uh, all sorts of shit, dude. It's, dude, look how thick that bit. Look how, dude, it's a fucking Bible, bitch. And these are all ancient sources that talk about shit. And I'll go on record. I, I believe that Jesus really existed. I believe that he was a real man. And when he was saying, I am the son of God, this shit was perverted by the Catholics. He was a son of God. What he was saying was, I am a child I am a child of God, and he has sent me here, has given me an earthly home with parents kind and dear. Lead me, guide me, walk beside me, help me find the way. Teach me all that I must do. Motherfucker. To live with him some day. Their chief is blind. Because of his power and his ignorance and his arrogance, he said, with his power, I am God, there is no other but me. When he said this, he sinned against all. This speech rose up to incorruptibility. Then there was a voice that came forth from incorruptibility, saying, You are wrong, Samael, that is, God of the blind. His thoughts became blind, and having expelled his power, that is, the blasphemy he had spoken, he pursued it down to chaos and the abyss. his mother, at the instigation of Pistis Sophia. She established each of his offspring in conformity with its power after the pattern of the realms that are above, for by starting from the invisible world, the visible world was invented. That's the Matrix, bitch. Motherfuckers! The secret rulers of the Earth are aliens from other d dimensions, bitch.